Welcome to our podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore how a new study reveals about dinosaurs turning into warm-blooded. Dinosaurs, the mighty beasts that once roamed the planet, are known for their reptilian appearance, or rather what we believe they looked like. For a long time, scientists have also speculated that dinosaurs were sluggish, cold-blooded creatures that, like lizards, depended on external heat sources to help regulate their body temperatures. This view began to shift as research suggested some dinosaurs could regulate their body temperatures. However, the timing and mechanisms of this transformation remained unclear. However, new research may have managed to estimate the time these mighty beasts gained semblance of control over their body temperatures. The study published Wednesday, May 15th, in the journal Current Biology, estimates that the first warm-blooded dinosaurs emerged around 180 million years ago, roughly halfway through their reign on Earth. To pinpoint the origins of warm-blooded dinosaurs, researchers analyzed over 1,000 fossils, climate models, and dinosaur phylogenies. They discovered that two major dinosaur groups, those including Tyrannosaurus rex and Velociraptors, as well as the relatives of Triceratops, migrated to colder regions during the early Jurassic period. This migration suggests these dinosaurs may have evolved mechanisms to stay warm. Meanwhile, a third group, including Brontosaurus, remained in warmer climates. If something is capable of living in the Arctic or very cold regions, it must have some way of heating up, explained Alfio Alessandro Chiarenza, a study author and postdoctoral fellow at University College London. Warm-blooded animals, such as birds, proven descendants of dinosaurs, and even humans, maintain a constant body temperature regardless of external conditions. In contrast, cold-blooded animals, like reptiles, rely on environmental heat sources like the sun to regulate their body temperature. Jasmina Wiemann, a postdoctoral fellow at the Field Museum in Chicago, noted that a dinosaur's habitat is just one factor in determining its thermoregulation capabilities. Wiemann's research, which was not involved in this latest study, suggests that warm-bloodedness in dinosaurs might have evolved even earlier around 250 million years ago, near the beginning of their existence. Wiemann emphasized that compiling various clues from dinosaurs' lives, including body temperatures and dietary habits, could help scientists better understand when warm-bloodedness evolved. Understanding when dinosaurs developed warm-bloodedness can provide insights into their behavior, activity levels, and social structures. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.